Today we celebrate the Mass of the 15th Sunday in ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends in Christ, as we come before the Lord today, we give him praise and thanks. In the Gospel today, we hear of the Lord sending his disciples to proclaim his message to the people of Israel. And the Lord calls us to present his message to the people of our time. With that in mind, let us acknowledge our sins and be prepared to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you call us all to serve your Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you call us to be your messengers in the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you invite us to the joy of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, and Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth, to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted as Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does in honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Offer you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered, Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, go prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response to God's word, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall go down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase.
Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption from himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of God's grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgression, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, in accord with his faith, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of time, to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you went to the house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went forth and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick, and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ. For many years, in the early summer, there was a special event at the headquarters of the Mary Noel Order in Osney, New York. Mary Noel, as I'm sure you know, is the Foreign Mission Society, which has sent countless missionaries, priests, sisters and brothers, and lay missionaries to witness to Christ in the far corners of the world. Several of them have died as martyrs in the countries where they serve. The special event in early summer was called Departure Day. The new missionaries are officially informed of their new mission and receive the blessing commissioning them to serve the people in that particular area of the world. Family and friends gather to celebrate this commissioning and to pray for the new missionaries. A tradition is the ringing of the Chinese bell at Maryland. The ringing of the bell signifies the formal beginning of the Maryland's mission. A bell was often used to summon people to prayer. Now this bell rings loudly to announce that missionaries are being sent forth to bring the gospel of Jesus 
to the end of the earth. Now, my dear friends, the gospel today speaks of the apostles on their departure day. Actually, <clears throat> it was their first departure day, only a preliminary to the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit would send the apostles on a mission to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth. But this was the departure day for the apostles' mission to their own people, to the people of Israel. Now, as far as we know, there was no ringing of a bell. There was no great celebration of family and friends. There was just Jesus sending them two by two. They carried them, only their love for Jesus as he sent them to do his work, the work of preaching and teaching, the work of curing the sick, the work of proclaiming the coming of the kingdom of God. But let us remember, dear friends, that the apostles were far from perfect. One of the apostles who was sent to do Jesus' work was Judas Iscariot. Judas who would be prayed to betray our Lord on the night before he died. One of the apostles was Peter, who on that same night, out of fear for his own safety, would three times deny that he even knew who Jesus was. But all of these commissioned apostles, all except St. John, would run away and hide when Jesus was arrested. And they were not there on the hill of Calvary when he died. Yes, the apostles were far from perfect. But the point is the Lord selected them, knowing their weakness, knowing their failures, the Lord selected them. The Lord used what they had and what they were, fishermen, a tax collector, none of them famous or distinguished men, but the Lord used what they had and what they were to be his instruments, his messengers, to bring the gospel to the people of the world. The Lord Jesus on that day gave the apostles their task. And the point is they accepted it. The Lord always uses us, but we have to give him permission to do so. And that is the key, giving God permission. There is a beautiful story that our late John Cardinal O'Connor often told of the day that he was ordained a bishop in Rome. Attending the ceremony was Mother Teresa, now Saint Mother Teresa, one of the greatest saints and models of charity that the world has ever seen. After the ceremony, the new bishop went up to Mother Teresa to ask for her advice. And she gave him only three words, which he said <clears throat> guided him for the rest of his life. And the three words that Mother Teresa gave to then Bishop O'Connor were these, give God permission. But dear friends, those words <clears throat> do not belong just to bishops or apostles. Those words belong to every one of us. Give God permission to use you as the instrument of his grace to help people to come to him. Give God permission to try to bring peace to a friend or a member of the family who has been away from the church and the sacrament. Give God permission to use you to listen to someone 
who needs a listening ear. To reassure a homebound person of your concern, to take time to help a young person avoid the pitfalls of today's world and to grow up in the right way. Give God permission. Every day we can say is our departure day, our commissioning day, when the Lord sends us forth to do his work. There will be no Chinese bell, no great celebration. There will be just God and you, with him sending you to be his hands and his heart and his love, if you only give him permission to do so. The Lord worked great things through his apostles, all because they gave him permission to do so. And the Lord does great things through you. May we always remember those beautiful words, and may we always be ready to do what they tell us to do. Give God permission. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, concept stands for the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with Scripture. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, standing in God's holy presence, we present our needs before him, saying after each of them, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Timothy Cardinal Dolan, and all the leaders of the Church, that they will help us to continue to grow in faith and holiness, we pray to the Lord. Then as we hear of the Lord sending forth his apostles in the Gospel today, we will remember that the Lord sends us to do his work, particularly for those in need, we pray to the Lord. That during this time of the Eucharistic renewal, we will grow in our love and appreciation of the Holy Eucharist, our Lord's greatest gift to us as people, we pray to the Lord. For the blessing of peace, particularly at this time in Ukraine, Israel, and Palestine, that our Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace, will help to bring peace to those troubled lands, we pray to the Lord. For our American servicemen and women serving throughout the world, particularly members of our parish, that they will be protected in safety, we pray to the Lord. For doctors, nurses, EMTs, and health
healthcare professionals, police officers, and fire departments, that the Lord will continue to bless them in their service of us all. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, and for our beloved dead, especially the departed members of our parish, we pray to the Lord. Let us offer our own prayer in silence. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people. Guide and protect us in our journey of life. And one day bring us safely home to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> For the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. And grant that when consumed by those who believe, this offering may bring ever greater holiness to us, your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By his birth, we are reborn. By his suffering, we are freed from sin. By his rising from the dead, we rise to everlasting life. And in his return to you in glory, we enter into your heavenly kingdom. And so we join with all the angels and the saints to praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. The Lord Jesus now comes to this altar to change bread and wine into his body and blood. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my blood, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessing of hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And why did Christ keep us safe for eternal life? Amen. We invite you now to welcome our Lord in spiritual holy communion to your heart. Before we come to the final prayer and the blessing of the Mass, we give thanks to God that we have joined in the holy sacrifice of the Mass today. Let us always remember those beautiful words to give God permission and to let the Lord use us to be his missionaries in the world today. Let us pray. Having consumed this holy sacrament, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>